It all starts this weekend. Are you ready? And in particular, are you ready for being in the spotlight as the most high-profile new face in the Premier League? <laughs> I, I, I doubt that uh, I am the high-profile manager of the Premiership. I think uh, they are uh, for sure a respectful managers and uh, extremely successful managers in this league. And I respect them a lot and hopefully I can, uh, I can be up to, to this kind of standard. I mean, uh, we guide ourselves uh, very um, uh, with the highest standards as possible, looking for excellence and, and looking to win back a title that escaped from us uh, last season. And uh, I think we will do everything in our uh, power to, to win it back. And, uh, and we, uh, we've, we've gone past a good, uh, good pre-season and, uh, and, and everybody is, is feeling already excited to come back to, to the competitive games. And, uh, and hopefully this, uh, this first challenge, uh, it's an important challenge for us because it's, uh, it's Stoke away, it's one of the magnificent teams of the, of the, of the Premiership. A team that uh, last year, although finishing in the in the bottom half of the of the table, managed uh, ten wins at uh, at home, so has a good empathy with uh, with their public, and it's a very uh, emotional stadium. And for us, it's, it's 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 good to have this kind of high challenge straight away on the first day of the Premiership. This week, John Terry has um, been comparing you with Jose Mourinho in terms of the way you've managed to establish authority here. Are you comfortable with that comparison so early on? No, I think it's it's I mean it's indifferent. I think. It's, in the end, it, it 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 would come from all sectors. It will come from my players. It will come from uh, from uh, from the media. Um, I'm not uh, I'm not a guy. I don't have personality to imitate people or to copy people. I just uh, express myself as uh, as I am, and it's I mean it's for the others if they see uh, a certain kind of uh, of coincidence in that. It's it's for their own judgment. I have no problem with it, and I have lived through it. Since I've started this uh, this managing career, this short managing career, and, uh, and I have no problem with it, basically. Uh, it's a subject which has come up before the age of the, the Chelsea squad. Are Chelsea too old to win the title? No, I don't agree. I, mean, I think people regarding Chelsea are, are too much worried with, with age. And the players are old, and the manager is young. So we have to we have to get a little bit in between. I think uh, I think you have to be in any age competent enough. Uh, to uh, to be able to be successful, and I think we are confident enough. After the week that the uh, country has had, do you think the Premier League has a kind of responsibility, if you like, to provide a, a feel-good factor for the whole nation this weekend? Yeah, I think so. I mean, uh, with, with the events that have been going uh, last week, I think it's uh, the impact of the of the of the, of the Premiership start. It's it's, uh, it's something that uh, motivates people and. Uh, and hopefully in up, uh, uh, we will be able to, to stop uh, what is happening. I mean, uh, it's something very, very wrong when it, when it reaches this extent and this level of, uh, of aggressiveness and this level of uh, criminality. And, uh, and the police has made a, a significant and hard-working job to get uh, things done, as long as uh, with the different uh, parties in, in, in Britain and everybody is, is together to, to solve this problem and I think it's all good signs that, that we sort this out straight away. We've made the necessary arrangements in the Premiership for the disruptions not to, to continue with the postponement of the Tottenham and Everton, the Tottenham and, and Everton game. And hopefully we can, uh, we can, we can, we can sort this out uh, once and for all and, and get back to a, to a feel-good environment and focus on, on, on the things that, uh, that uh, this country needs to focus on. In terms of the, of the team for the Stoke game, what can you tell us on and what's the latest on Fernando Torres? Yeah, yeah, I think it should be it should be okay to be to be selected for the for the team travelling up to, to Stoke. Uh, he suffered a concussion and yesterday he, uh, he he still couldn't remember a couple of things from uh, from uh, from the game and from before the game, but uh, but he is he was back in, in training today and, and he is up for selection for the squad.